This video will show you the easiest and best way to make your own ABC fun cipher that might go along with your theme. And it can be really great fun for the students and really great fun for you. So again, you would want to do this in Google Draw. I'm sure there are other ways to do this. For me, this is just one of the easiest way to do this. So I like to have backgrounds. When you have backgrounds in Google Draw, you have to insert an image. Google Draw doesn't have a background ability like Google Slides does. So you just insert, I downloaded a background. You just insert that background. I believe it starts with a D, yep. And then again, I like to make it fit by dragging on the corner my working pad, my working, uh, a Google Draw pad, and I like to get rid of the excess because you're going to download this again as a JPEG or a PNG file when you're finished. So now you have your background. And the easiest way to do a cipher for students is to insert a table. So um, OK, so um, I'm going to I want to have three rows of alphabet cipher. So I will do six by seven. So that my table looks like this. Then you want to click up by the corner and make your table as big as you can make it. And you click it by the corner so that the insides of the table are the same size. Okay, so then I want everything to be centered. So I select my entire table by clicking and holding down and dragging. And then I put it in the center. I also want my letters to be white for this. So they show up really easily. So the first thing, oh, and one more thing. I also like to center this way so that your cursor is in the exact mentor, mental of a table cell. So the first thing you're gonna do is in all caps, type the letters of the alphabet. So I'll do the first three and then I'm going to pause the video to finish doing that. So I was silly and got too much in a hurry and I paused the video because if you only are going to have three rows down for alphabet, then you need at least nine rows across. So I figured that out, so I paused my video to fix that. And the reason why you skip this row is because this is where your code is going to go. And you can put anything in this code that you would like. If you're a science teacher and you're teaching chemistry or physical science and you're teaching um, the periodic table, you could put the periodic things here, uh, the periodic elements in here to be the code. You can put numbers for math. You can do all kinds of things. Just for fun, I'm gonna make sure you know about this other really nifty little gadget. Sometimes it shows up when you right click and sometimes it doesn't, um, depending on what application you're in. It doesn't show up when you right click. So you've got to go to insert and choose special characters. Inside special characters are um, emojis. 
emoji cons. So it's really fun because not only do you have the emojis, but they have game pieces. They have Braille, if you wanted the code to be Braille. They have all kinds of things. Uh, they have Latin, which they don't have very much of that. They have geometric shapes. So you can choose what you want. They have different currencies. So for instance, if you wanted to do different currencies, just don't choose the same one twice. And you can move your cursor around and decide where you're putting what for the code, etc. I'm going to pause the video. Well, no, I'm just not gonna finish it. So you would finish out your code here. And then once you get this cipher finished, then you would copy and paste the coded pictures that you needed to be the key for what you wanted to say. So then you just simply, like we've done everything else, you're gonna download it as either a JPEG or a PNG so you can upload it to wherever you want to put this in your escape room for your puzzles.